All right, let's get started. Now I've opened up a sample tree here to give us an overview of what we're going to be doing in Speed Tree. Uh, it's a pretty good target, I think. Uh, it's got good uh, leaf cover, it's got developed branch structure, it's got interactivity with the environment, and it's got some other elements that we can play with. The viewport is pretty interactive, even with shadows and 1.5 million polys. Uh, we've got pretty good feedback. On the right, you'll see a uh, kind of a node view of the tree, and these are all the generators that create the different elements of the tree. And as we click on each one, we get a list of parameters that we can adjust to uh, get the results that we want. Now in a production environment, all we would do is buy a tree that was close to what we needed and uh, just modify that. But I'm going to have you build a tree from scratch. I think it's the best way to really learn what all the parameters do. So let's go ahead and close this out to save some memory. And we'll just create a new file. So now we've got this single tree generator and we can start adding some structure to that. So let's start with some, with a trunk. We'll go with a standard trunk, add some roots to that. We'll add branches. And I've made a little bit of a mistake here. The branches should be attached to the trunk which is why we don't see them now. Instead, they're attached to the roots. No problem, we'll just grab that node and drag it down to the trunk and it reattaches. Let's continue adding another level of branches and we'll top it off with some leaves. Now these leaves are kind of camera facing cards right now. We actually want those to lie in 3D to catch light uh, the way that real leaves would. So let's go ahead and go to the leaves tab here and we'll add a new leaf type. Simple leaf will do for now. And there's one more element I'd like to add, uh, which is a set of knot holes at the bottom of the trunk. So let's select the trunk, add, and we'll look under branches and there will be knot holes. So now we've got all the basic elements of a tree. Let's uh, turn off the leaves here for a second and we can take a look at the, the branches and we'll see that they're pretty pretty fine already. And this is all three-dimensional geometry. There are no cards yet other than the, the leaves themselves. And we can turn these on and off by hitting the H key. So this is a pretty good start for a tree. Uh, next, I'd like to start uh, detailing this out and making it a more realistic tree. <laughs> 